Hi guys, and welcome back to Pyro Painting. Today I'm going to teach you how to do glow and eyes. Glow and eyes is a really simple technique, but a lot of people don't want to try it. It can seem daunting when you first do it because of the way you're going to do it, but once it's done, trust me, it's really good. So today I'm going to teach you on two different models, or two different color palettes to use for glow and eyes. The first one is going to be like a fire, so it's going to be using yellows and oranges. The next after that will be a purple. So the purple, the reason why I picked that is because it complements the colors I'm going to be using for the model once it's finished. So I'll set the camera and we'll go for the first color and then we'll go for the second after. So sit back and enjoy. So then for the first technique, I'm going to show you how to do an eye that looks like it's fire. So the model is finished, especially with this one. This was done for a previous tutorial. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flood the eyes in. So we're going to get some troll slayer orange or any kind of like bright orange. We're going to wore it down and we're just going to basically plop a little bit in the eyes. Now, may look a bit overpowering now, but where this is watered down, that will, the water will evaporate and that'll sink into the recess. So once this is dry, I'll come back. So as you can see, dry it up now and as I said it's sunken into the recess so it may look flooded when you first do it it does sink into the eye itself the next step is to literally get a little bit of yellow and we're basically just going to pop it into the center of the eye now this would just basically be for your brightest of colors pop a little dot pop a little dot Now what that does, it just adds so it looks like fire is emanating from the eyes itself. This is really a simple, simple technique. Now you could elaborate on this, so you could go off, glaze over again with the orange. And then put a white in there and really just like kind of build it up to get to some heat, like so it looks really, really hot. But yeah, that's how simple it can be for just glowing eyes. If you really want to add some more definition, you can take a highlight color and take it around the eye sockets. Now putting that around the eye sockets makes it look like it's like an OSL. It's really emanating kind of light everywhere. But like I said, that's the simple one. That's just fire. Well, like fire-esque. But the one I'm about to show you is going to be using a purple. Now the purple is the same kind of technique, but we apply it a bit differently. So we don't just do one color you know flood it and then a central color with the with the purple we're going to do that to a little bit different and what i'll do is i'll set up for the purple one now and we'll get down to it and there you go there was the first technique of using the fire style but i want to show you that you can do it with different colors as well it's using the same principle of watering down your colors so that they become like a glaze consistency and then you work from there so i'm going to show you how to do kind of like a purple color on side these skull eyes so again pretty simple just gonna blot the color in. Now what I'll do, like I said, it'll do exactly the same as what the Korgoroff did. So the, the, the color will sink in once the water is evaporated. And what you're left with is this purple glow inside the eye. The step after that is gonna be that we add more colors and we basically keep going and going and going and going. So once in this is dry, I'll come back and I'll show you how the, you know, the next step of this will go. So now that that purple's dry, as you can see, it's sunken into the recesses again, as it did with the fire style one. And the next step is kind of going to be the same kind of process. What we're going to do is we're going to add a dot into the center of the eye. But after this, we're going to add a different, we're going to do something different on top. So just a central dot. Try and get it as center as possible. May look a bit messy at the moment, but what this does, the white is not going to stay white. We're going to add another very thin, kind of like glaze like we did with the purple. And that white is just going to pop. Okay. So what we'll do is, it won't take long for that to dry. I'm going to go back in with the purple. This time I want it a bit thinner than original. Because I want this to be more of like a wash consistency. And what we're going to do is 
as with the first step, we're just going to flood the eye. Just drag it up onto any kind of external points as well to make it look like that eye is really, really glowing. So it looks messy at the moment, but yet again, we've got to wait for this to dry. Then we're going to add a highlight to the bone, a very light highlight, and then we're going to glaze it over a third time. And the results are really surprising because it really makes it look like that purple is really, really shining. So I'll wait for this to finish and then I'll set up the camera. And I'll show you the final step. So then, as you can see, it looks kind of messy right now. But bear in mind with glowing eyes, it's going to glow everywhere. So the next step is to simply, we're going to highlight up the skull. Basically, just going to edge highlight it. Just a little bit. So, now that when we hit up with the third and final glaze, that looks going to look brighter than it does on the rest of it. So you're going to get this very bright rim around the eye, and then you're going to get a very darker glow underneath, which really adds to the effect of this. So, done what I did before with my purple, thinned it down. I can't stress too much how much, you know, you're going to want to thin this thing down. Purple is a very strong color and you don't want it to tint it too much. So then, now that that is dry, I'm just going to basically do the same thing as we did before. Just tint. Just give it a little bit more. I think I'll water this down a bit too much, but you better to water down a little bit too much than to, you know, not to water down at all. Because you just want a very subtle, subtle tint. Just get around some of that protruding areas as well. there again looks like it's gone to a mess again once it's dry it's gonna look a hell of a lot better so i'll let this dry and then i'll come back and i'll show you the final results so there you go guys that's two different colors using the same technique it's really really simple a glowing eyes may look daunting when you first do it well when you first hear about it you think oh god glowing eyes is going to be kind of hard and you're same as osl it's not it's literally thinning down stuff and glazing kind of colors in and just working and working into it until you get that perfect glow now as you saw in mine they weren't the neatest that's because i had a camera in front of me and they are purely tabletop they're not something to be looking you know this close to your face it's simply to be seen from a distance and from a distance that effect looks good so i hopefully you can take this technique away and you can t and you can put it into practice because it really is extremely simple you shouldn't be scared of doing a glowing eye effect or any osl you should always try experiment with everything it's because you don't want to you know be put out of kilter because you don't want to learn a technique because you think you're not good enough as you saw there it's simply just water things down and just try and keep building the more you water down, it can become a little bit harder because you're doing loads and loads and loads of layers. But it's, you'll eventually learn your equilibrium, like kind of like your central point of when you must do it. So yeah, hopefully you can take the information from this video, go put it into practice and do some amazing, amazing glowing eyes. Until next time, see ya.